Bootsy went to anger management, and let's clap it up for Bootsy. Facts, though. We got to clap it up for Bootsy, all right? Bootsy has checked into anger management, all right? And according to Bootsy, he says his expectation for people are too high. Now, you got to see what happens when you have high expectations for people. Those are the things that really anger you in life. Now, for once, for once, I agree with Bootsy right now. I agree with Bootsy. Bootsy, guys, Bootsy checked into anger management. All right, he has he has a short temper, he has anger issues. And maybe that's the reason why he's so vocal on the internet. Because like I said, Bootsy has become the biggest clout chaser on the internet thus far. Even though he's one of the biggest characters on the internet, he's one of the biggest clout chasers. All right? Nonetheless, he checked into anger management. He said it's his expectations for people. That's what triggers his anger. Let's talk about it. Let's unpack that. Listen, man, I've had a lot of expectations for people. And me, my expectation, that's what leads to me getting into confrontation. Thinking that somebody's solid when they're really not. Thinking somebody is competent when they're really not competent. The things that you expect for people, sometimes you think people are honorable when they're really not honorable. It's your expectations for, uh, for people, having high expectations. So I agree with Bootsy. That's what's going to lead to the arguments. Because you're holding somebody accountable thinking that they're, you're thinking that these people are the most honorable or trustworthy or and you deem them to be intelligent. So when they fall below that bar of intelligence, when they don't meet that, 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 that bar, sometimes it, it makes you angry because you think that they're doing it on purpose. Sometimes I'll be seeing somebody... Somebody might be doing something ignorant, and I would deem them to be... I, I, for some reason, I'd be thinking everybody is somewhat intelligent. But apparently, everybody's not intelligent. And that's one of my biggest pet peeves where I get into arguments. Sometimes I argue with people that I have no business arguing with. Planet would tell you that. Planet, goddamn it, my partner in crime. But sometimes I argue with people that I have no business arguing with because my expectation is high. Sometimes... I be thinking people solid like me. Sometimes I think people solid like me. Shout out to Check Boy Zo in the building, that part. You guys, make sure you guys support Check Boy Zo music. And I see you, champ. I see you with that Bobby Smurda, champ. Yeah, I like that. I like that co the collaboration that you're doing. Shout out to Hard Time. Shout out to Yaw Ball, that part. My boy Check Boy Zo. You guys, make sure you guys go check out Check Boy Zo music on YouTube. All right? Miami up and coming artists. Remember, I told you, so life or no life. Remember, I listen. Remember, I told you, this kid, he got something. All right, uh, he just did something with Bobby Smurda. They just gave a little snippet of it. It didn't drop all the way. You guys got to give it time, but they will release it, man. Shout out to Bobby Smurda. I love to see him in the building. Shout out to Bobby. So I love to see him when he in Florida. You know, he damn near Florida resident too. Damn near. You heard? Check boy Zo. Nah, man. Love all day. Dumb love, G. You already know. All right. Now, uh, 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 uh. Let's get back to it. Bada bing, bada bing. All right. So, Boosie checked in. So, Boosie checked in the um, anger management. Let's get back to it. So, like I said, you guys, high expectations for people. Sometimes you expect people to be solid and they don't be solid. And then you're ready to go punch them in their mouth. You know, you're ready to go hit them, bust them over the head. Facts, though. You know what I mean? But you had high expectations for people. Sometimes you think that people are honorable when they're actually not honorable. It's the expectations. And when people fall short of the expectations, you get anger. Now, imagine this. Imagine you didn't have so much high expectations for people. Imagine how much time that would save you, how much energy that would save you, right? Because if you could look at somebody and tell them, this person is not trustworthy or this person is not intelligent, you wouldn't be arguing with nobody, right? You would kind of look at them skeptical, but you wouldn't converse with them so much. You wouldn't rebuttal what they're saying because you wouldn't deem them to be competent. Why would you Why would you argue with somebody that's incompetent? That makes you look retarded. And sometimes I'd be thinking I'm retarded because how am I arguing with a retarded person if I could deem him to be retarded? If I'm intelligent enough to see that this person is retarded, why am I arguing with them? That's one of my pet peeves, all right? 
So once again, I, I agree with Bootsy. It's your high expectations, right? It's that kid that the, the kid that man. I don't even want to go into that. Man, even kids have even kids have high expectations for their parents. All right, when you you thinking that your pops is gonna come see you and daddy don't come see you because you had high expectations. Daddy's your hero. You thinking daddy's like that, right? So it's those those letdowns start psychologically fucking with you. Every time your father said he was gonna come see you, a single parent home, and your daddy didn't come see you. He, he, he fell short of your expectations. It had a psychological effect. So this is big with what Boosie's talking about, high expectations. The high expectations be the biggest letdowns. And that might lead to depression. Those would be subsequently, those might be the tools of depression, right? High expectations. So like I said, I think Boosie is, is 1 million percent right. And I think we all need to apply that sometimes and stop having so much high expectations for people. Give people room to fall short, right? Everybody's not perfect. Everybody's not intelligent. Everybody's not competent. Everybody's not loyal. Everybody's not, everybody doesn't have pride. Everybody doesn't have, everybody doesn't, everybody got an ego, but don't everybody have pride. Some people have no face. Some people, some people are not easily embarrassed. They don't have no face. They don't got no figgy. You're probably getting figgy. You can't dirty their face, right? So the things that they do, you you have high you never thought they would do it because you had high expectations. But in actuality, that person did not have high expectations for themselves. All right. So nonetheless, shout out to Bootsy and Bootsy. I agree with you. High expectations do lead to arguments that do lead to you getting angry and getting into fights. The expectations that you have for people. All right. So let's move along. That's a little bit too long on Bootsy. Cause we were speaking about Bootsy all the time. Last week I spoke about Bootsy. Um. All right. Let's speak about this. Island Boys. You guys know I rest in peace to the Island Boys, okay? Cardi B was not even charged. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to Cardi B. Cardi B, yeah, we can speak about that too. Uh, 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 um, Cardi B throwing that microphone in the crowd. 